This is part two to a two-part interview. To hear part one, look at the instructions on your screen and go to that site. Thank you. Dr. Shandell, I'm here at his office in, uh, in in Hollywood, Florida. I've been coming to see Dr. Shandell for, for a while now, and he's uh, helped me so much develop a, a solid game plan when it comes to my diet, and I recommend everyone get their blood tested. And uh, Dr. Shandell is going to introduce himself and explain to you uh, exactly uh, what he does. It's very important that we are all familiar with what's, what we can, what we should, and what we cannot and should not be doing. Because if not, then we will eventually become ill. Usually there is, if not always, there is a very strong correlation between lifestyle, nutrition, and disease. Uh, the uh, cancer profile can be used either in traditional or non-traditional approach to cancer, since we, that's what we're talking about now. Non-traditional approach is uh, metabolic therapy usually, which includes uh, detoxification, diet, supplements, exercise, meditation, prayer, and a number of other things. But all these things are really building modalities as opposed to all the traditional modalities uh, surgery, chemo, radiation, these things are always taking something away from you, whereas metabolic therapy is always adding something to, to, to your life. I'm not saying that metabolic therapy will cure your cancer, but I'm saying that it, it will definitely elongate your life and it will definitely improve your, your existence while you are on this earth. Uh, the longevity profile does include the cancer profile. It has a lot of other tests, including a, a, no, a large number of hormones, a lot of endocrinology. For instance, we do the sex hormones, estradiol, progesterone, testosterone. We're doing the stress, adrenal stress and or death hormone, that's a cortisol level. We do a parathyroid hormone, and this one is for bone health. You don't have to put your arm into a radiation machine to, to test your bone density. We do a blood test for that, and if your peptide hormone is elevated, that means that you are either not having enough uh, calcium and vitamin D in your diet, or you can absorb what you have. And it's very simple to correct. When you go for the density test, the bone density test, that already tells you that you are in big trouble. You, your bone is, it doesn't have the density, you are depleting your bone, and now what you're going to do? There is no good traditional method, really safe method, totally safe method to correct, uh, correct a bone loss problem, but there definitely is a very good dietary and supplementation methods which will work for you. Uh, besides that, we're looking at all the organs, heart, liver, lung, kidneys, bones, and we're paying good attention, big attention to the uh, coronary risk factors. We test for, of course, for all the, all the cholesterols, which is really a very small part of possible coronary deficiencies or, or insufficiencies or developing problems. But we also do a homocysteine, uh, lipoprotein small a, um, bad cholesterol LDL direct analysis, and a high sensitivity C-reactive protein. Any one, just if one of these markers is elevated, that could be enough and could be cause of, of death, of your death or your loved one's death. So it's very important to know where you are. Most uh, doctors today will still only test for cholesterols and they're interested about your cholesterol level. A big deal. Some people say cholesterol, we have not much to do with coronary heart disease. We know that the bad cholesterol LDL does. So if, if any of these markers are elevated, that is probably more important to immediately take care of than if your cancer profile is elevated because heart is a very fast killer. Cancer can go on for years and one can suffer for years with cancer, whereas a heart disease, uh, coronary heart disease is a very efficient, very quick killer. Uh, there is a whole lot of science to this and uh, we have a lot of statistics in the laboratory and I am and we all in this laboratory, American Medical Laboratory, are very proud of what we are doing and we feel very confident of the power and the goodness of, it, of what we are doing. So you are welcome to call us and, and inquire on your own. You can visit our website caprofile.net and uh, you'll be very 
welcome yeah. to call in and ask for them and you can talk to me about your situation if you so want. We do perform the tests for just about all over the, the world. Little bit and little bit of specimens coming from Europe and uh, more and more from Asia, uh, from all over Canada and also from the United States. This is the only laboratory who's doing these tests and this is the only laboratory that's guided by, uh, uh, should I say, some divine inspiration. Thank you. Wonderful, very much. And uh, people can get these tests done from anywhere. They can arrange with you to have the blood work mailed to you from all over the world, correct? Yes. All right, great. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Shandell, and uh, thank you everyone for listening, and have a wonderful day. Dr. Shandell's medals, he's a, a black belt and an, a, a swimmer, and he a competitor. He, you can see here, he's uh, pretty good. He has all these medals, and uh, he's in great shape for, you know, for anybody he's in great shape, physically, mentally, uh, spiritually. He's just, there's a tremendous amount of exercise and practice, and he's just all these different medals he's won and every time I come here there are more on the wall he doesn't let up for anything and uh, it's just a great testimony of, of what he knows and what he does and uh, I recommend everyone to get in touch with him uh, and, and s just use his uh, knowledge to your advantage alright everyone thank you very much and thank you again Dr. Shindell and enjoy the coconut thank you. after I interviewed Dr. Shindell I cut open a fresh young coconut right off a tree that I picked for him and he enjoyed it so much. It was a wonderful interview, and he enjoyed the coconut, and we're gonna be hearing a lot more from Dr. Shindell. Here we go, here's a, right up the tree, South Florida, giving a coconut to Dr. Shindell. All right. You can enjoy that. Mm. Nature's fine medicine right there, right? Uh -huh. mm. Delicious. The Fred Bishy and Dr. Shindell, they're both a big part of uh, what I've learned about the health and nutrition and recovery of illness and staying healthy and uh, I write about them both in my uh, new book The Daylight Diet and in all my studies and my information you'll be hearing a lot more about them from me but uh, here they are together and uh, it's just a honor and a privilege to uh, to be in their company so everyone get get used to them because you're gonna see them a lot more thanks to uh, the, uh, me getting out their information that needs to get out so thank you both I highly recommend everyone visit Dr. Shendell or give him a call and take his test. They've helped me and I've been going to him for years. Thank you.